Hi, my name is Dave Pena. I'm the Product Marketing Director of Memory Models at Cadence. I'm here to talk to you today about emerging memories and what we're doing to help you with those. As you can see from this diagram, we have various different memories across the system, whether it's connected to the CPU, the GPU, new accelerators and data centers, or even down the PCI Express bus. When you look at these, there's different characteristics that are being designed in, emer in emerging memories, mainly because the systems are having significant bottlenecks in performance trying to get data transferred across the different parts of the system and the application. The different memories that we're working with have different characteristics that help with that. For example, when you look at the GPU connection with LPDDR and DDR, these memories have a very good level of latency and also high capacity as far as the amount of memory you can use with. This is very important for the CPU to do data caching, for it to work with the various variables within the application itself. You have other memories like NOR, which have been around forever. However, with 5G, IoT, and those types of applications, we're seeing a big upswing in those with new things like security. Uh, this is typically run across your AMBA type of system bus, for example. On the GPU side, when you start looking at data center, the workloads get very data intensive. And in order to address the level of bandwidth that is required for that, we see new memories like GDDR, HBM. And these types of memories are accelerating the amount of bandwidth that you can have very significantly. With that are some interesting things like um, signal integrity issues. We're not an analog model per se, but our ability to model training, uh, data eye corruption, and aspects like that are very key to the verification. Moving down into the accelerator, you have other new memory subsystems that are coming out, but they also leverage the existing DDR. You see the possibility for uh, hybrid memories. On the PCI Express bus here, you see the NAND bus. These types of uh, memories have additional complexities, all of which, again, we deal with uh, within the memory models. One of the things that we do uh, pretty consistently within our operations is we work with a large ecosystem. That ecosystem includes you, the customers. It includes the memory vendors and the standards bodies. We attend the standards bodies basically to stay on top of the latest and greatest protocol features. But more importantly, uh, the customers that are attending these drive the standards for their specific applications, whether it's supercomputing, AI, data center, automotive, all of these different applications have different requirements. Understanding those use cases is very critical to understanding the level of verification capabilities we have to provide within the memory model. We've worked very closely with those vendors and, and you, the customers, to identify what features need to come and what improvements we need to make to ensure that you can mitigate the silicon escapes that you have in your systems. The level of quality that we have in our products are based on accuracy against the standard itself as well as the memory vendor data sheets. Thanks for your time. Check in next week for another edition of Whiteboard Wednesday.